resume within that uh, three-day period which is provided for. So we, we does uh, take issue, obviously, with respect to the reasons which were given by His Lordship Justice uh, Chitabi, uh, but we wait to take, to take instructions, but uh, it's a judgment which is likely to be challenged. And once it is challenged, it will be suspended. So we go back to Cash 22. All right. Um, just to say that uh, on behalf of President Sylvia Kasukere, we are initially disappointed uh, with this uh, judgment. We respectfully disagree that uh, the law was not fundamentally changed uh, by SI 140A of uh, 2023. Um, as the advocate said, change in the period within which postal votes are being received is in actual effect a change of the law and as such you should have only to apply to future elections okay the constitution that should have taken effect not with this particular election but any other election whilst acknowledging that um, the commission does enjoy these wider powers to change the timelines uh, in order to deliver um, free and fair elections. We do not believe that um, this provision in any way assists in the delivery of free and fair elections. Uh, the period being um, resorted to does not make it any easier administratively to collect these postal votes, given that we still do have pending cases in court. So to say that uh, electoral ballots from Sudan or from UK or from UAE will arrive within the country and be dispatched to their constituencies within three days. I think it, um, such judgments that are coming from the court are problematic. Um, they are creating dangerous precedents and um, creating skewed jurisprudence which will be difficult to, to abide by in future cases. And uh, this may be done for political expedience but what we are happy with is that we are fighting on behalf of Zimbabweans. We are fighting for the nation to abide by the laws set out in the Constitution and in the Electoral Act and deliver not an expedient, a politically expedient election or plebiscite, but to actually abide by the laws of the country to deliver a free and fair election. And I'm afraid with such judgments, there is no free and fair election on the 23rd of August 2020.